But anyway, you just head back over here instead of falling down, and there is the only heart piece in this area over by those fiery platforms. Uh, can't remember exactly how you're supposed to get to it. Are there? Yeah, there's Deku. Okay, <laughs> I was a bit freaking out there. And that's what you get for wanting equal rights, you stupid Gwei. Gwei's aren't allowed to have equal rights. That's an abomination. I don't know. Anyway, yep, you just need to get over this away. And there are fire things, which, if you do not remember from the Forest Temple, one hit KO the Deku, Deku, and I think they might actually do it to Link too, but I'm not just quite as sure on that. Anyway, you got a thingy. Bleep. Anyway, yeah, I'm just going to be probably speeding up this next bit because it is time for Link's Redead Colored Rupee World. And actually, I'll do the next tiny bit of the dungeon before speeding it up because I need to unlock it to get to the best place to farm for rupees. Oh, whoops, forgot to have my mask. Good. I love how they don't even question when you suddenly appear. I mean, I guess for these guys it's acceptable considering they aren't sentient, but it's sort of funny how the Dekus don't mind if you transform in front of them and then they say, oh, you must be a real Deku. That makes sense. Anyway, um, now that we cleared that, it's sort of actually not obvious. I didn't know what that block I cleared out of the way did. But if you noticed, there was a hole that it went over, and it happened to be over this room. So now there is light here, otherwise there wouldn't be. And by here, I mean here. Anyway, these are hard enemies, except for the fact that they die to light, and then, of course, drop our old buddies 15 to 20 rupees. Three of them, and if you let one of them survive, it'll reform into a big one. And yes, in fact, uh, drop another rupee. Yeah, I like the ones that dance in different ways. Also, if you shoot them with fire arrows, they keep dancing while being on fire. And if you shoot them with light arrows, they keep dancing while glowing with the light. It's sort of funny. Anyway, yep, plenty of money. Um, yeah, I know what, I'm even gonna get this guy out of the way. I'll just show you what I, the reason I need to backtrack for is, and then speed up that actual backtracking. Sorry if you don't like watching me grind money, but eat poop but you jerk for not looking. Anyway, a fire whiz robe. I think that sort of counts as a variation on the whiz robe. Anyway, I think it's actually more efficient to just hit him with your sword. He gets scared if you walk towards him, but the jump attack is a lot more powerful than arrows, I believe. It should be. Oh no, it's the night of the second day, and he ran while that happened. Anyway, this guy's not even hard as he would be normal. Okay, I'm just... Yeah, he's not even as hard as the regular thing, because even though it makes that nice little thing... Okay, maybe the reason... Okay, yeah, I used ice arrows on him, and that makes the fire blast not happen if you shoot at it. Okay, yeah, so this isn't as easy as I thought he was, but he's not that bad either. If you just do, like, this... Oh, that was not lucky. Here you go. And he randomly freezes. Pretty funny animation, I guess. Oh, hi. Hi. And is that it? No, how do you have that much HPs? Oh, yeah, that is it. Okay, sorry. And that's odd music. It acts like you did something important. It was just a, it wasn't even a real mini boss. Oh, maybe that was just the, how the music starts up when we started the music. Okay. Anyway, I just totally ruined the ability to show it, but there's something funny you can do with a jump attack in this room. And by funny, I mean funny-ish. Uh, you'll see in a second. Also, I did not know this was an attack because you can't do it while Z-targeting, and I'm always Z-targeting if I'm using the shield since I don't like not walking. But there's a stab attack you can do if you hold, if you just hold down the shield button and then tap B. And it actually goes really fast. Yeah, I had no idea why I didn't know about it, but I didn't. That doesn't make their hitboxes or hit stun me any less or whatever like that. Anyway, I'm just about full up on rupees. I could be fuller, but I don't. I'm not that picky. Anyway, that wasn't right, but if you can get a weird angle on them, you can hit the top of them and then the bottom of them in one s s jumping slash, and it'll do four damage. Yeah, like that. Pretty cool. Anyway, um... Yeah, I'll just show you what 
the trick is in this next room, and by trick I mean reason I can't progress without heading back to Clock Town. Do -do 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 -do. There's that hole that opened up. Yeah, I thought that block just moved so you could get out, but no, you can't get through that first room. And look, a thing, and you're screwed if you didn't bring a bomb. It's a bomb mask of powder keg. So I'm going to fly off the clock down. I know what, I don't even need to speed any of this up because this is all legit. I thought it would take longer to grind the money, but I'll probably at the end of the segment I'll start speeding up as I hack money speeding up as I hack some money. I don't know, I might even well, I would do that off screen, but people don't like it when I do things off screen, so Well, I don't know, no one's actually actively said not to, but a long time ago when I said, should I show the bank at the end of every single cycle? They said, yes, yes, I want to see the bank at the end of every single cycle. So I said, okay, sure. Now you don't know you know how to dance. The old Camaro could teach you a thing or two, whippersnappers. Goro, Goro. Now I need to put the money in the Goron first. Sell me that bomb you're buying you. Anyway, yeah, this is what I tried to do so long ago. Now I'm actually a licensed Goron. I tried to do it when I was on license because I thought you automatically got the license after getting licensed, except you didn't. What's this? You need something to buy it really. Alright, I don't you. You have to take it to a place, but then you have to go back to the Goron who gave it to you to get the thingy. Anyway, 437, here one rich little Goron. And let's jump on back, except that we need to switch to Link again, sort of, to even. Oh yeah, we definitely need to switch to Link, but in future runs we would technically have to, but I don't want to fight Reed Edges. Go on. I don't want to fight them when they don't fight back and they drop infinite money. Anyway, even though you heard the curse on this place, there's still friggin' Poe's at night like there are everywhere in the entire world. Or, yeah, I, I always mix up bubbles and pose. Okay, yeah, this just has, like, un... What did I call them? What did I call them when I said I mix up pose and them? Oh, okay, yeah, they are bubbles, never mind. I don't know, and why isn't this working? Uh, this music has, it's, like, very unusually... Epic, if you will. I really don't like using that word ever since the internet ruined it, but man, that's what it is. It's like very, very fanfarish. I'm almost want to fight those Garrows, except for the fact it's pointless and gives me information I already know. Yeah, a bit easy once you have the great spin attack. Which there's really no excuse not to have, since it's basically the one it gives you for free. And since you need the mirror shield here, ah, nice job. Let me just show off the exploit you can use to get money here even faster without having to enter and exit the room. I don't know if it's faster than entering and exiting, but you don't have to enter and exit. They also don't have to enunciate, apparently. Yeah, but this little jerk, if he doesn't walk into the light, he should grow back into a big guy. Come on. Come on, little feller. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Aw, oh, too bad you wore down my patience. You could have become a really like, big guy again and gotten split up. I, don't know. I love how they don't become hostile after you start attacking them. That's pretty much the best. I already said that, but yeah. And uh, I feel worse for the stall child to actually show signs of intelligence and they still refuse to attack back because they think you're their leader. But I don't know anything that can be that easily confused. Yeah, or uh, stall childs. Yeah, they're skull ch stall childs. I don't know. I think they're stall childs. Yeah. They're the dry bony looking guys. Haha, <laughs> bony. Um. Anyway. Power. Okay. Maybe zombies ate your neighbors. Maybe, 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 maybe. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah. I love how he just casually takes the keg out above his head. Anyway, I'm gonna want air fire arrows for that matter, and uh, skull. Or, yeah, it's not skull. Kita's hat, the captain's hat for this next bit. Pop. That killed a bird up there. <laughs> <laughs> 